Hey guys, welcome to Real Moscow Project and that's Annette. And today we are going to have a small walk in Moscow. Uh, now I'm walking through the Tsaritsana Park. We have already been here. And that it's not that place that I wanted to show you. Uh, today we are going to one of the Moscow districts. Uh, we call them sleeping districts, but actually it's not only the place where you go to sleep. It's the place where you live. Uh, that would be a district named Tsaritsana, uh, in the name of the park Tsaritsana, in which uh, I'm walking just now. And uh, I'm going to talk about sleeping districts of Moscow or living districts of Moscow, uh, show you how people live here, and uh, and just have a small walk because because I'm on vacation now. I'm, I'm still on vacation and I'm tired of sitting at home and decided to just walk. So let's go. I'm walking through the park uh, from metro station Arekhova uh, because uh, metro station Tsaritsana is now closed. Uh, because uh, Moscow Metro now have a reconstruction on uh, this line. Uh, they making a new tunnel for... for uh, they making a new tunnel for trains because this part of uh, uh, green uh, metro line is uh, very... Uh, is rather old and have a lot of problems with uh, underground waters so they decided to build a new tunnel uh, that wouldn't be uh, covered with underground waters and here you can see a small part of park uh, some old buildings there in the distance is uh, the main uh, palace of this park and I'm not going to walk in this park, I'm just passing it through to reach uh, the sleeping district Tsaritsana. I'm going to tell you a bit about history. Uh, Tsaritsana in Russian, uh, the name Tsaritsana in Russian came from the Russian word, uh, word uh, Tsar or Tsaritsa, that is king or queen in Russian. Uh, you may know the word, uh, the word Tsar. Uh, you, I, I'm sure you've already heard this uh, word a million of times. I hope. I think. <laughs> so Tsaritsana, that is the place that belongs to Tsar or to Tsaritsa, to king or to queen, the place that belongs to king or to queen. And this park that is also named Tsaritsana, just like is uh, the district named Tsaritsana, uh, was the place where there was such a queen in Russia, Yekaterina II, and she wanted to build here in this park, in this place, she wanted to build uh, a palace for herself, to live here. In that times it was uh, not Moscow, it was uh, away from Moscow, it was like an uh, some summer place to live, maybe I must say something like that. So she wanted to build here a temple. Oh, uh. So Yekaterina II decided to build here a palace, but something went wrong. There was one palace, she didn't like it, and there was a second palace. Uh, uh, they started to build it, but she also uh, doesn't like it. Uh, so no palace here and there was only a ruin of uh, the palace for a very long long time only a ruin only walls uh, nothing interesting but uh, some years ago uh, our major decided to make this place beautiful and build here a palace uh, so now there is a big palace uh, in the style of uh, Yekaterina II times uh, and the big park around it. 
with uh, uh, roads, with walking places, with places for rest, and so on and so on. And some festivals uh, took place here, uh, takes place here. <laughs> There was a car. <laughs> I, I didn't hear it and 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 <laughs> oops. Смотрите, ребята. Look, there is a squirrel. Small little squirrel. So cute. Oh. She is very close to me. <laughs> Ты какая хорошенькая, божечки. <laughs> and ducks, they are coming closer. <laughs> They they think that I have some food. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. You are so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, I have no food for you. My cute little one duck. So close to me. I can even touch you if I want. <laughs> okay, here we are. We came. Just uh, near the metro station Tsaritsyn, that is here, we're here, and from this uh, starts uh, Tsaritsyn district. We are going to walk on Luganskaya street, because it's the main street maybe of this district, and maybe turn left somewhere, walk here maybe somewhere. We also have here hospital. Psychoneurological uh, dispensary. Some schools. There is, you can see, some market, uh, dental polyclinic, and so on, so on. And, oh. and this is a research institute of automatics. Okay. Let's go. And here, at la here we are at last on uh, Luganskaya Street in the district Tsaritsyna. Uh, Luganskaya Street named in the honor of the city Lugansk. And as you maybe know, there are a lot of uh, uh, names of streets and so on uh, connected with Ukraine in Moscow. And we are not going to rename it. And here you can see a lot of bus, uh, buses, blue buses, uh, with KM1. Uh, road uh, KM1 is the compensational road because of uh, closed uh, line. There are uh, about four stations closed on the uh, green line of Moscow Metro so to let people move uh, across Moscow to move uh, betwe uh, between uh, these uh, closed stations um, the Department of Transport uh, put a lot of buses on this route and the Luganska street was closed for cars so uh, only buses rides here now and also there there on that side you can see a closed area closed area and this is how metro uh, tunnel is building now and here you can see how much stations are closed from Орехово, Царицына, Кантемир... А, Каширская, Коломенская, Технопак and only Автозаводская is open. So, you can't ride here by metro. You should use this uh, compensational roads of uh, buses. KM1, KM2. Oh, I can use KM2. Maybe I can walk to Автозаводская, but it's... Well, maybe I will walk to Kashirskaya, maybe, I don't know, we will see. Look guys, there is a hot tea point, you can get there a hot tea. 
I think for free, maybe. <laughs> but, okay, guys, the tea is really for free, but uh, it still does not uh, boiled, so they just gave me a, a chocolate. <laughs> really, a lot of buzzes here, so it shouldn't be any problems to get to the next metro station. Gnomes are digging the holes. <laughs> So I think uh, it's a very hard walk, <laughs> but we are still walking that's in that direction and I'm going to walk far and far and far and then uh, get the bus and go home. Okay guys, I turned inside the district from the street and the first thing that we can see here is a big and beautiful uh, children's playground. Uh, look how beautiful and big uh, this is this place is and some children also playing there I won't film uh, children and look how beautiful here is it very interesting I like this place nice place to walk also there are some plants Beautiful, very interesting, like in like in Japan or in China. <laughs> and here you can buy fresh, fresh baked uh, vest bread and a small shop product uh, shop uh, food shop. That how the common living district. In Moscow looks like some living buildings very very common for Moscow living buildings some playgrounds another one playground no one is here now so we can walk closer and look at it a bit closer well, problem nice small but nice everything that you need for your children you have here and also some places for rest oh beautiful nice place for rest here look some small trees you can walk here you can rest here sit on the bench and read maybe You may be surprised why there is no people here now, but you can see that the weather is rather cold and uh, oh my god <laughs> my my uh, SD card uh, is nearly over so I will film on my phone now. Okay, my card uh, in my camera is uh, over so I will uh, film on I on my iPhone. Uh, and behind me you can see this building, small building, that is for birds, uh, for pigeons. Still there is some people in Moscow who have their own small uh, pigeon uh, houses, uh, small pigeon buildings uh, for pigeons. And... sorry. <laughs> And here you can see uh, an old five-level living buildings. They soon will all be destroyed. And people from that buildings will live in such a beautiful new houses. Uh, they will get their free uh, flats. That is a Moscow renovation uh, uh, living... Uh, Renovation system, system of renovation. So it is beautiful and new. And these old buildings will be destroyed. They are really very, very old buildings. Okay, guys, I began to talk about why there is no people here on the street now. 
uh, today is a walking day. I'm on vacation, so I'm walking, but uh, walking around Moscow. But most people are now at work. So here in the district, uh, living district, you can in that time meet only children or moms with children or uh, people who works from home or have no work or maybe on vacation just like me not a lot of people another one small play, uh, children's playground there and here is you can do some sports uh, on the fresh air if you want so in every district in every near uh, near every living house we have such places like uh, children's playground and uh, some sports uh, for some sports places for some sports i'm very sorry for my english you should remember that uh, that is not my native language so sometimes i speak very badly <laughs> especially when i'm a bit tired and now i'm already a bit tired you can see here another beautiful rather beautiful building and there is also some old buildings i must say that uh, it is not still a winter time in moscow because today is the 24th of november it's the end of autumn but uh, for maybe already a week or a bit more uh, the winter came to moscow so it's snowing it's there is there is a lot of snow and it's cold to the big crossroad crossroads and here a lot of cars here you can see a rather uh, what I want to say I forget never mind no one in Russia, in Russia crosses the road on a red flight. We will wait until green one will be on. I love these yellow bricks buildings. I find I found very um, uh, very charming. That is for people who can't uh, use stairs for people with low uh, I never mind people I'm already tired <laughs> I can't speak English when I'm very tired I'm so sorry some new buildings here also maybe built uh, on renovation system So, 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 okay, I should find my way home now. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Now I'm going to finish my video here because I'm really tired. I'm a bit cold. Uh, I really walked uh, much more than I filmed. So, see you next time. Thank you for watching. That was Annette, Real Moscow Project from Moscow, from a living district, Tsaritsna. Bye!